Red tide, not the words any fisherman wants to hear, caused by a bloom of microscopic red algae. It covers massive areas and can turn beaches red and murky. It also comes with a strong smell as a result of the decaying organic matter. Well, we're actually having one of the most extensive red tides we've had in a very, very long time. Obviously, red tides, the toxic um, blooms, are, are quite rare along this part of the coast. And um, at the moment, the bulk of what we're seeing is actually um, Noctiluca, which is um, a species that's not toxic. Red tide is not generally dangerous, but it can cause certain respiratory irritations in some people, such as surfers and ocean swimmers who breathe in the air close to the surface of the water. So at this point in time, we're actually not sure, um, you know, what uh, um, what other species are present. We've sent samples down to Cape Town for analysis, um, but we're waiting confirmation on that. It's not known how long the red tide will last. It's largely dependent on weather conditions. As a precaution, authorities have warned the public not to remove and consume any shellfish during this time. Janine Lee, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.